Hey guys, Jacques here. So, I started printing some parts for my new clock. That's about the size it's going to be. Compare with my past ones. There's a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to be using a small piano wire to try to minimize friction, see how it goes. And with the cycloid tooth profile and then the drum will be down here on this here the drum will have a bearing this one here will have bearings as well here there will be the ratchet when I rewind the ratchet will be in the secondary gear because there will be less torque than directly on the on the drum, six times less actually. <laughs> Escape wheel, the one from my design, from it's the same as this one. It will come behind. It will come here, just on top. I redid the uh, assembly using assembly 4 in FreeCAD. I used the back frame as the base and then I put all the gears. You can have a look in FreeCAD. So this is where I am in the design. I have the front frame, this hole I can put the rewind gear that will turn the drum. Then there will be a ratchet in this gear here. On the side can see this shaft that is going to be powering the hands that will be on the front for a shaft here to this gear back here this part this part here I'm going to have to take off I'm going to change on the other side you see this gear there will be a gear here and then a shaft and then the hands on the front on the back Escape wheel and the anchor, still my design from the clock one in, that I made in Fusion 360. I thought it would be easy to import the step file for the anchor and then join it with the gear and that was not so easy. And Anyway, I want to design a bigger escape wheel because where the anchor and the escape wheel interact, it's hidden behind the frame barely visible. I want to do a bigger escape wheel and the anchor will be further down. I'll have to redo I have to redo all of it in FreeCAD. It's going to take a little bit more time. But I'm learning a lot, that's for sure. I had quite a few issues when I wanted to change the dimension of some of those parts with because of the topological naming. So that's something I need to learn to be better at it and prevent problems. But it's taking shape. I'm going to include a few links to some videos that talk about topological naming issue and way to, to um, prevent it. I have three things left to do. The front face will be hold with the bolts here in the four corners. I need to do the the hands also finish the front gears and then in the back I need to make a back frame that will hold the back of the anchor the back of the escape wheel will hold a pendulum that will come down here and then I have to figure out how to fix the clock to the wall so I still need to finish those few things face frames on the back new escape mount an anchor Print everything, put every, everything together, and start running it. So it's coming, it's getting close. So subscribe, make sure you don't miss the next step of this clock. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.